Tom Clancy's The Division will not be featuring New York City in its entirety, but you know what? That's not going to be a problem because of what it does feature. My name is Steve, and this is Select Start on Examiner.com Games. The game will be set in Midtown Manhattan and will not cover other parts of New York City at launch, but don't worry, this is not something you should be worried about. The game doesn't just take place outside, but also on rooftops, inside stairwells, buildings, arenas, and underground. Nope. This version of New York is horizontal and vertical, and from early impressions, there are a ton of things for players to experience outside of main missions and the Dark Zone. Side content will include roamers, encounters, and intel. Given the fact that not all of New York City will be featured in this game, it's a good thing because players are just walking and running around. There's no driving and there's no flying, and because of this, it would have been very difficult for players to get around the map had all of New York City been in this game. There will be plenty of balance between the ground people need to cover and how fast they cover it. Fans who were worried about the experience being thin outside of the Dark Zone should rest easy. When you're not in that area, it is just like any other open world game from Ubisoft. A ton of fun with lots of things to do. Seemingly no matter if you play with friends or alone. In The Division, you're going to have plenty of things to do, from base building, PvP, your own progression, both in the Dark Zone and outside of it, in addition to the main campaign. So there's a lot there for you, and I'm very confident about what I saw. The highly anticipated launch of Tom Clancy's The Division will come on March 8th for PS4, Xbox One, and PC. For more on the game, keep it right here on Examiner.com Games.